Not only is the 2025 Hyundai Tucson a chic-looking choice among compact SUVs, it's also a practical one, with a more spacious cabin and cargo area than many rivals. A 187-horsepower four-cylinder engine and front-wheel drive are standard, and all-wheel drive is optional. Acceleration is leisurely, but the Tucson delivers a comfortable ride. Both a hybrid and plug-in hybrid are offered, we review those models separately. Each of them provides more kick than the non-hybrid model, but no Tucson delivers the driving verve of the Honda CR-V, Mazda CX-50, or Volkswagen Tiguan, all of which handle corners with more gusto. If you're more inclined to lazy commutes and quiet road trips, the Tucson has you covered. Especially higher-end trims that come appointed with surprisingly posh materials and feature more conveniences and tech gadgets, the Tucson receives a styling refresh for 2025, its fourth year on the market, that includes updates to its grille, bumpers, and wheels. Inside, the Tucson's old optional infotainment setup has been swapped for a new one that includes two displays, one for infotainment, the other for gauges, sharing a singular rectangular housing on the dashboard, entry-level models get a single 12.3-inch touchscreen and analog gauges. The steering wheel design has been tweaked and the climate control panel has been updated too, we'd go with the sporty-looking N-line trim, which is new for the 2025 model year. It wears cool 19-inch wheels, unique front and rear styling treatments, dark chrome exterior accents, a panoramic sunroof, and N-line badging. The cabin is draped in a combination of cloth and leather upholstery and features a Bose stereo, the new dual-screen infotainment system, and an auto-dimming rearview mirror. It also comes with Highway Driving Assistant, which is Hyundai's adaptive cruise control system with an integrated lane centering feature. A 187-horsepower, 2.5-liter four-cylinder is standard and comes with an 8-speed automatic and either front or all-wheel drive. The Tucson offers nothing more than adequate pep for both city driving and highway passing maneuvers, so lead-footed drivers will yearn for more power. While the Tucson is no sports car, its handling is competent, its steering is reasonably crisp, and its ride is agreeable. What's most striking about the Tucson's driving demeanor is how quiet and refined it feels when cruising, it's these traits that imbue it with a sense of luxury that is rare in this class. At our test track, our all-wheel drive limited test vehicle made it to 60 miles per hour in a leisurely 8.8 .8 seconds. The more powerful hybrid and plug-in hybrid models, reviewed separately, both feel quicker, but don't expect Toyota RAV4 prime level acceleration from either of them, the Tucson sports a simple but modern dashboard design with a digital gauge display, a column-mounted shifter, and a separate control panel for the climate control system with actual buttons. Hyundai's flagship Palisade SUV and the brand's recently redesigned Sonata and Elantra sedans have served as a watershed moment for the company's interior designs, and the Tucson continues the trend with a thoughtfully arranged interior filled with quality materials and luxury features. The Tucson's rear seat space and cargo area are both larger than many rivals, providing more passenger comfort and practicality. Behind the back row, we fit nine carry-on suitcases, and the luggage capacity rose to 22 bags with the seat backs stowed. For 2025, the Tucson receives an upgraded optional infotainment system that consists of two digital screens in one monolithic housing that stretches most of the width of the dashboard. One screen houses the digital gauges, while the other offers access to the Tucson's radio, navigation, vehicle settings, and more. This new setup, however, is only standard on N-Line and limited models, and optional on the SEL. All other trims come with a single 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen and a bank of analog gauges. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the range and wireless connectivity is standard on every model, features such as Sirius XM satellite radio and an upgraded Bose stereo system are optional. Other high-tech offerings include Hyundai's digital key smartphone app, which provides lock and unlock features as well as an option for remote start. The price of the 2025 Hyundai Tucson is expected to start around $29.000 and go up to $38.000, depending on the trim and options.